Um, we mentioned a referendum game. I don't believe this is a referendum game because the Jets and the Lions are similar situations. The Jets have a little better record, 7-6. and six. The Lions are 6-7, and seven, and obviously if the Lions can come out the win, they'd both be 500. And the reason it was mentioned as possible a referendum game, especially early in the season, when the Jets were one of the surprise teams in the league where they were coming up with these mir- miraculous comebacks, yeah. the one over Baltimore, for, for example, w- was over, one. Yeah, over the Bills. Over the, over the Bills. Uh, and the Lions were just floundering. And it looked like, you know, to many people, you know, who knows if Dan Campbell's going to come back, if they, you know, lose 13, 14 games, how can you bring them back? Well, but, you're also watching Arthur Smith down in Atlanta at correct. the start of the year right. have a much better start to the season. Now, all of a sudden, you're week 13, 14, and, oh, here we are, very similar records between the Jets and the Lions. Yes. But you know what's really weird about all that? There's a chance, I don't I haven't dug into the numbers too deeply, but both the Jets and the Lions, it's possible – don't make the playoffs. And in that pathetic NFC South, Arthur Smith's Falcons, even though they benched their starting quarterback who's left yeah. the team, basically, and Marcus Mariota, they could make the playoffs. Anyway, uh, Sunday it's Robert Sala versus Dan Campbell. And I think it it meant more earlier in the season. Now I think it's pretty obvious that uh, both gentlemen are doing a pretty damn good job. I would agree with that. And if this game was played in week seven, and the uh, the Lions are sitting there at one and five, and you know the the Jets. I don't know what they were at that point. They had more wins, obviously, than the Lions did. Uh, but you know, and then the Lions go one and six, and they lose at that time. Yeah, that's more of a referendum of did the Jets hire the right guy? Did and and we don't even know uh, for a fact. At least I'm not aware. Did Robert Sol- was he offered the job? What did he turn it down? Was he not offered the job and it was given to Dan Campbell? Did he even want to come to Detroit? Like all of these well, different I do things. Know, we do know he interviewed for the job. So well, I we know he interviewed. He, we assume he wanted it. Well, I mean. Why would you, you interview through, for a job you don't want? There's a lot of guys that interview yeah, for it, jobs that. that but in his know, case. And you could turn it down. Yeah, I know. But it's, 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 it's the experience of going through the interview. Correct. And finding out a little bit about the organization. There's a lot of different reasons. Right. But he could have said, you know what? No, I'm going to continue my interview process. And if I if I don't find somebody that I like, I, I can stay as a defense coordinator for the San Francisco 49ers. Correct. Not a bad job. No. So we are going to get a chance to look at both of these coaches and I don't think it's a referendum game. I don't think it's, hey, if one wins, obviously one's going to win, one's going to lose. We, at least we hope there's not yeah. a tie. <laughs> um, you know, we'll debate during the game and, and shortly after of decisions, coaching decisions made during the game. You know, are you, you going to go forward on fourth and one? Where are you on the field? What does it mean? What's the context of that? And all of the different things that we talk about Dan Campbell with, we'll have a chance to have a direct comparison of in-game decisions. Now, those decisions aren't going to be exactly the same, but we'll get a chance to measure the effectiveness or lack thereof on winning or losing the game. So right. you can have a healthy debate right now on who's the better coach. I think the – I would go with Salah if so, I had to pick one. I right think it's, now. I think it's picking – you know, I think the fact that they've had to – replace their running back this year and the bigger picture is that they're doing this without Zach Wilson and you're move it appears they're moving on from a, a second overall pick already you're doing this Mike White he's a free eight you know they defensively I think they're a better team for sure they, they beat the Bills at once they played the Bills tough last week Bills offense hasn't like I'm a, I've kind of I, I checked out the spread it hasn't really moved no it's just sitting around a pick them still maybe a little on the Lions edge yeah so look at last week what happened there's a healthy respect for the jets it's on the road the lions offense isn't as good on the road it's right. just not it's a no. fact the over under is 44 you got the fourth best offense yeah going the on the team road that's gone game. over it's 30 points what you, six times yeah but does it do it on the road so did uh, chicago it, it, this is a well and seven points of that were defensive by right. the way i you know i think it seems like Vegas is figuring out what this team is to a degree, and they kind of want to. This is much more of a test for the Lions than oh, last week. Absolutely. I thought this was the this is the circle game all year that if, if they're going to run the table, I I really don't know about this one. The Jets, you know, the, 
Judge Salah came out after la- yeah they came out after last week and Salah said we're going to see the Bills again so he's trying to do that late sa- season ploy that you've seen work in this league before. I remember Jim Fossil pulled it with the Giants at six uh, and six. Wayne Fonts used to pull it out of his ass every you season. You know, Rasputin, uh, Chris Berman, Aaron Rodgers has done it before. You yeah. know, and he's kind of trying to hit that last little uh, intangible, emotional, you know, you know, push to the team that he's confident in them that they're going to see the Bills again. And I do think he would take a little bit of personal, uh, you know, gain in the fact that he could probably end the Lions' playoff hope. Yeah, sure. It's his, it's his hometown team. You know, whether he was a fan of the Lions growing up or not, it, this is where he grew up. This is a football that he knows, and he has a chance. Now, it would be a little bit different. I think that we talk about motivation if he was coming to Detroit. Correct. To be able to come home and, and you know, do that in front of his family and friends mm-hmm. uh, and in front of all the fans uh, here. But let's face it, this is a real classic up-down game, too. Yes. You know, this is just the, the NFL coming back to the middle which we always say about parody and stuff. And yep. I've said about the Lions running the table, I just said, you know, it's hard to win nine out of ten games in this league, okay? It just is. There's just a lot of history. Are the Lions good enough to overcome that? I don't know that yet. Well, we'll I mean, we'll get a chance to find out in, 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 you know, obviously really close, you know, proximity. But I don't think we'll know in, in terms of how good or if there's a separated between these two coaches – for a couple of years. And, and I know you said that you think maybe it's Robert Sala right now. I would argue that it's maybe more Dan Campbell because when Robert Sala took over for the Jets, I understand they had, you know, drafting the, the quarterback, they got the number two overall pick. That hasn't worked out. They've had to make some some things happen there. But they did he did inherit at least a decent defense. It wasn't a a team that was devoid on one, on both sides of the ball. He had a decent defense, and he's a defensive guy, so they're able to go there and play a little defense. That's why if Dan this Campbell off- took over, and it, there wasn't anything on either side of the ball. Well, he inherited, except for Sewell, a pretty good offensive line, though, right? Decker, Ragnow, Jonah Jackson, they were here, too. So A, a decent offensive yeah, line, yeah. Right. Half of an offensive line. Right, and the Jets were I mean, not a great defense, but they were – Good, just like the Lions' offensive line was good. So I think okay, so you've got one position group yeah, instead of it. one side of the ball. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I mean, that's that's. I think that's a huge difference. Yeah, but I mean, Dan Campbell has a much better quarterback situation too. I would argue. Yes, maybe not much better, better. But he, Mike and, White and, is, and, Mike, and, there's some magic with Mike White. Well, okay, at least so and, I don't and know and if it's you're, a you're talking about the decisions that that Robert Sala has made with the quarterback. All right, terrific decisions. They're working out. They're finding a way to make it work. We also talk about the decisions that Dan Campbell has made. Anthony Lynn, Aubrey Pleasant. It hasn't been at the quarterback position or with necessarily personnel, but it has been with his coaching staff. Did, didn't they also – he had a – what, was it Elijah Moore? Who's the receiver that wanted to be traded? I think that's very minuscule. No, no, but I'm saying Salah said, you know what? We're not trading you. We're, we're going to keep you here, right? I well, mean, he's well, the thing is he's doing whatever he wants, and I think that's the great thing about both these coaches. Yeah. They're doing whatever they want. They know they're going to get. It's going to be a couple more years before they face the wrath. You know, and um, it, I think doing it in New York is a different game. Oh than, yeah, sure. he, he, like, to me, see, I, I believe the Jets are better than the Giants. Oh, there's not. Even, I, I think it's not even it, close. I think a healthy Jets is significantly better than the Giants. So to me, this is a far tougher game going into. Jets have played really good football. They're fighting for a playoff spot. You know, if this offense does on the road what it's done at home. With the Lions, now it's it's lookout, I don't, yeah. and that's I, I, what I that's what I'm kind of like, that's my get your popcorn ready thing because I think there's a chance they could do it. You well, know, I do too, but I, I don't. I, the Jets and Giants, the Jets are a lot better than the Giants. I, I think I said are dead, but of course they'll end up resurrecting because I said it. Uh-huh. 